Welcome to the ISO GPS mini series. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of the key differences between ISO GPS and ASME GDN2. ISO GPS is defined by a number of standards and the majority of those are specified in BS quadruple eight. So there'll be links to them, references to them inside the engineering drawing standard produced by British Standards Institute. ASME GDN2 is defined by the ASME standard Y14.5 as a single document. The majority of the symbols are defined similarly, but there are many subtle differences, so it's important to be careful and conscious of which standard you are using. I'm going to outline some of those key differences today. In particular, I'm going to talk about the envelope and the independence principle. Let's start with discussing two of those principles. Here we have a simple example part with GDNT applied to the whole. You will notice a diametral tolerance and a position tolerance. This usually controls the location of the central axis of our hole relative to the nominal axis. The envelope principle means that the GDNT, what's in the feature control frame, and the size tolerance are linked. This is specified with the little E symbol there. And they are taken together. Alternatively, the independence principle means that the hole diameter and the position tolerances will be inspected independently. As we discussed, the envelope principle gives an envelope in which all of the tolerances act within. This means all of the tolerances on a feature of size are acting together. This is most useful when assembly is required, as you can set up an envelope on each part to ensure fitment between a pin and hole, tab and slot, etc. If an envelope is used, this can often be assessed with a gauge. This can be beneficial over doing inspections with a CMM if a large quantity of parts are produced. This can be seen on a simple example with a shaft. When the envelope principle is applied, an envelope within which the shaft must fit is used. This means that all of the points on the shaft diameter must fit within the envelope. We can see that some do not. Alternatively, let's look at the independence principle. Inde the independency principle means that each tolerance is considered independently. This is not usually used for interfacing parts and usually requires inspection with a CMM. This can be seen on the same simple example with a shaft. When the independency principle is applied, the shaft can be measured at many individual locations to ensure the diameter is not exceeded in any of them. This means that the shaft can bend and still satisfy the diametral tolerance. If we wanted to limit the bending, we would have to specify other GDNT tolerances as well. The key difference. In ISO, the independency principle is the default and the envelope principle may be invoked by using an E symbol. In ASME, the envelope principle is the default and the independency principle may be invoked with an I symbol. There are many other differences too, but we won't discuss them today. Thank you very much.